Welcome to Vivid Brain Institute, Hardy Sharma, Class 10 course. Today we are dealing with trigonometric identities. In that, we are going by exercise by exercise. So the now first question follows like this. Through the uh, following trigonometric identities, you take the first one. First one is 1 minus cos area into cosecant square a is equal to 1. In order to prove any kind of thing, these kind of things, we have to take either LHS or RHS and we go on proving it. We have to get the other thing. Let us consider here LHS. So here LHS is, you take LHS, LHS, LHS is 1 minus cos square A into cosec square A. So this is LHS. Now we have to get RHS as 1. Yeah. Now this is this chapter is dealing with trigonometric identity, right? Now in this trigonometric identities, we know the first trigonometric identity. What is the first trigonometric identity? We know sine square a plus cos square a is equal to 1. But you observe here we have 1 minus cos square a. So can we write this sine square a as sine square a as 1 minus and sending this cos square a to this side 1 minus cos square a. So this becomes sine square a. Okay. So I am substituting that 1 minus cos square a as sine square a into cosec square a. Okay. And we know that sine a and cosec a those two are inverse ratio. Right. So, sin a into cosecant k is always 1. We already know that. So, I am substituting because sin square a into cosec square a means can I write sin a into cosec a whole square? Whole square. So, sin a into cosec a is equal to 1. So, 1 square is equal to 1. This is our order. It is true. Okay. If you want more videos like these, download Vivid Drawings from Google Play Store, like, share and subscribe this video.